Hi everyone, welcome back to day 43 of our 100 day SQL challenge. Today we are going to solve really challenging question that was asked in Uber data analyst interview. So let's see the question. So the question says Uber wants to analyze driver performance by giving a special Diwali bonus. Write a SQL query to find the top drivers based on the highest average rating in each city. Make sure they have completed at least 5 rides in the last 3 months. And there is a note it says ignore incomplete rides where the end time is missing. And if you see it says return city name, driver name, total completed rides and average rating. Let's see the table. In the table we have first table which is called driver's table. In the driver's table we have driver information like driver ID, driver name, city and the joining date. If you see the next table that's called rides table which is our main table. In the rides table we have a ride ID, driver ID, customer's ID, start time and end time. You can see in end time some of the rides doesn't have end time that means that rides is not completed distance price and rating okay so this is the important columns which is a rating and if you see in both the table we have driver id column which is the common column okay let's read the question one more time to understand it better it says write a sql query to find the top driver based on the highest average rating in each city make sure they have completed at least five rides in the last three months okay and it says that they need to complete at least five rides in the last three months and ignore the incompleted rides where the end time is missing okay so return city name driver name total completed rides and the average rating let's write down the step-by-step -step approach that we can follow to solve this a problem so first of all we would need to return the city name driver name and uh, total completed rides and the average rating right so first of all we need to do a join between this driver and the rides table so we will first step is going to be our doing a join between which is called drivers and rides table that's going to be our step number one okay so once we do the join we can simply go ahead and uh, only select the data for last three months because we need to find out make sure that they have completed at least five rides in the last three months okay so we need to filter the data for last three months for that we can use the where conditions and we can say that the data we want or see only for last three months okay so we will be using filter once we do the join that's going to be our second approach we're going to do one more filter that's going to be ensuring that only the data that we're selecting that these are completed right okay so we need to only select completed rights okay so completed rights we would select using another filters once that is done, then we would need to do a group by each city so that inside each city, each driver and we can see the completed rides. Okay, so first of all, we would need to do a group by by city followed by driver's name. Okay, name or ID. We can say ID and name both. There could be two driver with the same name, right? So it's better to do a group by by this driver ID and the name. Okay, once we do that we would have the count like the total rights that they have completed that's the first thing and then we would also have this average rating so this would be the, our aggregation functions okay so this is fine okay now next what we need to do is that once this is done we would need to only select at least a five completed so it says that make sure they have completed at least five rights okay so here we would need to select completed five rates using having conditions on this count okay so then we would be using a having conditions having this count which is going to be completed right so it, so we would say completed rights must be greater than i mean greater than equals to five okay at least five rights they must have okay and once this is done then we would need to see in each city the driver that has the highest average rating that is the driver we are going to select so one driver in each city we are going to select so for that we are going to use a rank window functions okay so using rank we can find out one drivers from each city who has the highest average rating okay so rank is going to give us one drivers in each city okay or maybe maybe more than one if they have the same same ranking and then that is how we will be selecting that drivers okay so for that we would be using rank functions along with we can use city or sub query okay so this is the step by step approach that i'm going to follow to solve this problem now if you have any other approach to solve this problem do let me know in the comment box you can download this data set from the video descriptions now let's go ahead and follow step by step approach and uh, let's solve this problem so first of all we need to do a join to join both the table we can see both the table has a common column which is called driver id so using the driver id we can do an inner join because we want to select the data from both the table 
where this driver id exists okay so for that we are going to do inner join so i can use a from and i can start with writes sr and i'm going to do inner join so i don't have to define the join here by default it's going to be inner join i would say drivers s and d and on what conditions so the condition is going to be driver id equals to write id okay so if i select i would be getting everything from both the table okay let me just go ahead and run it you can see i have everything from both the table now okay so this is fine now next what you need is that once the join is done next we would want to select the data only for the completed writes okay for that we can simply use a where conditions we can say where and how do you know the completed writes if this end time is missing that is not a completed write so we can go ahead and say where this end time which is coming from write table r dot end time and r dot end time is not null okay because we are comparing with null so we are going to say is not null so right now we have 56 writes let's go ahead and run it this is our second step now we have 50 writes you can see all those null writes are gone because we have filtered the data now so this step is done now we need to add one more conditions to ensure that the data that we are selecting that is for last three months so for that we can add up end conditions and we can say the write must be completed and then this start time must be within last three months so here if you see this start time this start time this start time so whatever the start time is in the last three months we would want to see that data so for that we can use something called interval functions okay so i am going to say that start time okay which is coming from right table so r dot start time and i can simply say must be greater than current date okay minus interval three month so this is going to give me the three month old data okay let me just show you if you want to see this date this functions so current date minus interval three months if i just do it so today is 31st october you can see it is giving a three month old date along with this time stamp which is zero zero okay so this is what we are doing here we are saying that start time must be greater than equals to current date and interval three months so that is how we are selecting the data for last three month only so right now still we have 50 but we have just added in, in case we have any old right that's going to be ignored from here okay so that is fine so these three steps are done now we need to do a group by by city driver id and name so that we can get this aggregation functions like count which is the total rights and this average rating okay so for that we can just go ahead and say group by which comes after the join so group by and here the columns that we need we need to select those column only okay so if you see this question it says return the city name driver name total completed rights and the average rating so we need four values okay so th these values we are going to put here so first of all what you need is this city name that's going to come from the driver table because in the driver table we have the city name but in the right table we don't have anything like city names okay so we can see there is no city name so that means based on this in driver table we can get the city name okay so for that we can just say d dot city okay because the name is called city so i will be selecting that now i'm going to select the driver id so i can use d dot driver id from any table that's fine because it's inner join and i would need driver name so i would just go ahead and say that driver d dot d dot driver name okay so this is fine and now what you need is the count okay so we want to see the total rights so we can use the right id or we can use the count star so i can use the right i can say r dot that right id okay so that's going to give us the total rights completed total completed rights okay so total completed rights okay by each driver and then we would want to see the average rating so for that we would just go ahead and say average r dot rating which is this column okay so that's going to be average rating so i would just give a name called average rating okay so the query looks very simple we have three columns we need to do a group by by force three columns okay so for that i can simply go ahead and say group by by one two three because i'm using postgres or you can just put this column name directly here let's go ahead and run it um we do miss something i think i missed a comma here let's go ahead and now run it cool so now i can see we have each city and the driver driver name total complete rights and this average rating okay now the task is very simple we need to select from each city we need to select one riders that has the highest average rating okay and we also need to ensure that each of this driver has uh, at least five 
you know kind of rights so if you see this question it says here having completed five rights right so we need to make sure that the data that we are selecting they have at least completed five rights okay so for that we can use a having conditions on this column which is called completed rights so we can use it here so we can go ahead and say having completed right greater than equals to five so at least only i want to see the data where the rider has completed five rights okay now we see the six day uh, six uh, drivers where they have completed at least five rights okay so almost done now next what you need to select is that for each city we need to select the one driver who has the highest kind of the rating okay so main task is this right write a sql query to find the top drivers based on the highest average rating in each city make sure they have completed at least five rights okay which we have done already so this data has uh, everything that we need now we can simply go ahead and use uh, window functions here you can do it here or you can do it outside as well so what you can do is that we can go ahead and say rank and we can say over and we can say partition by so we can do a partition by this three column city and uh, for each city we want to kind of see the number of different different drivers and their rating right so we will be doing partition partition by city so i will be using this column partition by city and order by what the average rating okay so i cannot use the alias so i would sort of average rating descending and this is i'm going to give it as called rank okay so this is fine and i can just go ahead and run this this is going to give each of the riders and their rating for each of the city okay so since in the bangalore we have two riders and uh, the rider that has the highest rating which is this one you can see it here that's called rohit and that has the rating which is called 4.6 and uh, that is getting rank one if you see same way in mumbai we have two riders which is this two and this rider has uh, the highest rating which is called 4.38 okay that's getting rank one so we want to select the data where our rank is one so for that we can use a sub query or you can use a cte so i can go ahead and select this i would be selecting using a sub query okay so i would say what i need to select is that from this table so this query is creating a table right let me just put inside a parenthesis so this is creating a table i can just give a name call kind of subquery okay and from this subquery table what i want to select is a simple i want to select the city name okay i want to select the driver name and i want to select the count which is called total completed rights i want to select the average rating okay so this is what we want to select and i would just put a from conditions here and here i'm just going to put this little here okay now i will be using a where conditions where a rank equals one okay so using this approach we will be selecting from each city one writers who has the highest average rating i missed a comma here let's add the comma here let's run it again cool so you can see now we have each city and uh, the driver name and their total rights and the average rating okay so if you want to see the query so you can go through the query step by step approach what i have used it here so here we have everything we have used a simple sub query to select it. so the reason we have used where condition outside because we have created this column here using the window functions you cannot directly use the where conditions in this query so we need to save this data in a sub query or cte then you need to go outside and that is how you will be selecting the data so this is how we have solved this question guys today that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end i hope you have learned something new today if yes do subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you in the next video till then keep learning and stay consistent have a good one take care bye bye